What is up boys and girls, it's your boy Starfire14 here, back with another video, and today guys, we're going to be looking at the GK61 mechanical game keyboard. Before I get to today's video, I want to make one note of disclaimer that these uh, keycaps right here, they don't connect, do not come with the keyboard. These are Joker keycaps, you can buy them separately, all I did was replace the keycaps with some of them and uh, put them in on the keyboard. And so if you want, if you're interested in these keycaps, um, I'll leave it in the description down below if you guys are wanting for your own keyboard. Works with almost any key, works with all, almost all the keyboards you can imagine, uh, the PBT um, keycaps, so just letting you guys know. Also, while you're at it, guys, check out my Twitch channel. It's in the description down below. I stream a lot, and so it'll be like a really nice to have an audience come watch. I really appreciate it, guys. So, you guys, let's go on to this video. To start things off, I'll start with the light keys, the backlight, and everything. So, right now, this is currently just wave, and this is a uh, wheel. This is um, wheel, but it's color, but it's like upward. And I believe this next one is, yep, and this is uh, green, but I think you can change the individual color if you want, so you can like do in the software. So, I'll leave a link to the software down below. If you're in case you're wanting to look for it, and this is just breathing over breathing, and switch back to wave. And so you have this other sitting right here, but unfortunately it's not here because I need the keycaps. So just like for you, if you were to have this keyboard, it'll be right here, right next to the bracket key. So if you click function, uh, this you'll just have another second, uh, another function set. So you click the keys, lights up at the end. And the next one is just the world light up, and this is just the water splat thing. And by last but not least, my favorite, the sound one. So this one has a microphone underneath the space bar right here. So I think it's kind of shady though, if you know what I mean. Hey, FBI, open up, bro. All right, so now we're gonna look at the switch. And so this keyboard is a, a Gatoron Optical Red. So by optical, um, it doesn't actually run on uh, conductor electricity to register the key. So instead, um, runs an infrared light registration. So when you click this button, locks infrared right light and then uh, register the key way faster than you know if you were have to have a regular switch which is blue like let's say for example we ran through wire and as you know guys um speed light is much faster than electricity so it makes sense that you know you want an optical switch because it's more faster registers faster and it almost feels like playing like on a 144 hertz monitor almost and so and these are also very to pull out and stuff there's like you know no almost no risk into breaking these because these, like you know it's really easy to bend the conductor wires on a regular mechanical switch so that's what I just like about this you know just no wooden uh, no like metal conductors just this wooden peg blocking for red light bridge to the key and so I think that's my most favorite part of the keyboard is just you know um, being able to like have have a faster smooth response rather than just through electricity. Keyboard size overall is very small, head bro. Like literally, I can just fit this in my pocket if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that because you know I want my brick. So uh, it is really small, so 60%. And so compared to my old keyboard, it's 65%. The only difference here is that you get the F1 keys are missing, but you can still use the F1 keys if you want to by like open this macro key function, so function and Q. We activate the F1 keys up here if you're not using the number of keys. So I think though the size is like really small, condensed, really awesome. But the problem is that it's really bad for typing because you know as you know, smaller the keyboard, harder the type. So this is my typing keyboard. So when I just type like you no know, paperwork or anything like that, I'll just use the type. This one for gaming. So that's what I just like to prefer. I mean, whatever is up to you guys. Overall, this keyboard is really awesome. I would recommend it for gaming, but not a typing. If you're a typing enthusiast, yeah, probably want it on to get it. But also, if you're like playing change. Key, uh, key switches in the future, like frequently if you want to go Cherry, uh, MX or anything like that, I wouldn't do that because it only runs on Gatoron optical switches. So you can only like get optical switches which are only compatible with this keyboard. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, if you guys are looking for like, you know, to change your key switches frequently, this is not the keyboard you. I will like get another keyboard then. But yeah, optical switches are overall just pretty good. I actually like them. They, they register faster than, you know, your ordinary mechanical switch. So, but this is still mechanical though, as you can see, you can hear it. So yeah guys, um, that's pretty much it, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you really find this video helpful, smash a like and subscribe. I do like reviews like these frequently, more like a lot often, so yeah guys, I really appreciate it. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!